I know you guys are excited about Next Generation just as much as I am, and I want to do my biggest giveaway ever. I'm giving away an Xbox Series S to one lucky subscriber. If you want to win this Xbox Series S, all you have to do is follow me on this YouTube channel, follow me on my Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. I will pick a random person on November 10th when the console releases, and I will pick one, and I will send one to you. So, do those things if you want a freaking Xbox Series S. Get Basa to the pack. It is pack here. AKA your mama's best friend. And in today's video, guess what? They're giving us news tomorrow of NBA 2K21 on the next generation. And they have announced, according to realsports101.com, they're saying that they're releasing brand new game modes for NBA 2K21 on the next generation. Or at least they're announcing them. And that's a weird thing to say, new game modes. Not only that they just say that there's a new game mode coming, but multiple new game modes, that's gonna be interesting to see. And in this video, I wanna predict which game modes I think that could be coming into the next generation. I wanna remind you guys, when NBA 2K14 came out on the PlayStation 4, right, and the Xbox One, it was my career, park, my league, my team, play now online. That was your five game modes. And to this day, that is still our only five game modes. So they haven't really made new game modes for the past seven, even eight years now. So the fact that they're gonna announce something new and brand new multiple game modes is exciting. So before this video starts though, be an OG, join the pack and subscribe. And let me get into which game modes I think they're going to add. The first one is the most obvious one. They've already announced that the neighborhood is going to be a fundamentally new thing. They could have gone to, look, let's put it this way. If it was going to be a reskinning of the neighborhood and just more park, but just a different version or a different look of it, they would have called it the neighborhood or the park or something else. Instead, they're making sure they're calling it something brand new because it's going to be refocused into something brand new. Now, how it's going to work, I don't know. I'm still believing it's going to be called the world or at least something in that category. And how they're going to change it up and make it new is going to be fascinating to see. At the end of the day, I think it's still going to be similar to Park, but there's definitely going to be changes there. And they're going to be considering that a brand new game mode for sure. Do I think that's the news coming out tomorrow? No. I don't think they're going to talk about the new like world or Park until later on, but that's definitely going to be something that they bring up later. Which ones do I think they're going to be talking about? First is I think they should make a brand new matchmaking system for sure. Look, Pro-Am is fine. I like Pro-Am, but it has so many flaws, like so many flaws. The ranking system itself is straight garbage. It is. So last year I was a gold team. And, I, and that was fine, and you usually played against gold teams, sometimes you played silver or bronze teams, and sometimes you played pro and bronze teams. That's okay, but there's serious problems. So this year I'm bronze, because I kind of played this game late, and I was gone for a while, so I haven't played a lot. So my team is pretty rough right now. We're a bronze team, we have a lot of games under 500. We're struggling. We shouldn't be playing bronze pro teams that are like 25 and 1. That makes no sense why I'm playing these teams. By the way, we beat that team, but still, we should never be playing those kind of teams at all. If I'm playing a silver team here and there, I get it. And maybe a gold team once in a blue moon. But I should never be playing a team that's in a completely different ranking than us. Like, like straight up completely different league than us. It doesn't make sense. We should be always, almost always playing bronze teams until we're close to silver. And then we start playing silver teams. That's how it should be, in my opinion. What they could do, there's two things. First, there's this game called Brawl Hollow. They have the ELO system. I like their ranking system a lot. You have a number, and when you pass a specific number, then you go on to another ranking, and that's how it should be. So if you win, you get numbers go up. If you lose, your number goes down, and depending on your number is what league you're in. I think that's the best way to do it. I think that's one of the best ranking systems out there. You could also sure just do a straight up ranking. So let's say your, your team is considered the 50,000th in the world or the top 100 in the world, and you have specific rankings for that. That would work too. There's better ways to do ranking, and I think that's one of the ways to do it. Another thing is a custom All-Star Weekend. I cannot believe this is not in the game. I've been asking for a custom All-Star Weekend forever. They used to have it back in the PS3 and PS2 eras. It's ridiculous that we never got it in this era. We can play All-Star Weekend in my league, but we can't customize it. Like, if I want to put Shaq in the three-point contest, I can't do that. And I've always wanted to do that, bro. Like, it's, it's depressing because that's such a fun idea to do this game. And they, they don't have that in. And you can't have fun in this game. And that's ridiculous that's never been added. Up next is Pro Career Mode. So we already have my career which is you create your player and you play for whatever team you want but what about pro career modes like how kind of how fifa and madden have it where you can pick any like professional player and you can be their career if you want to be lebron james continue his career and trying to get more championships with lebron 
You can't do that in this game, technically. Or if you want to get a terrible player or a player that doesn't really do good, let's say you want to make Alex Caruso average 30 points and have a career with Alex Caruso. You can't do that in this game. And I feel like that'd be a fun little thing you can do. And they never added that kind of stuff into the game. And maybe that's a new game mode they're going to add. Who knows? Another one is the Olympics. The Olympics are coming up in 2021. It should have been this year, but now it's going to be next year. They need to have an Olympics game mode where you have like the FIBA World Cup or maybe just like the Olympics itself and play with national teams. And maybe you can try to be like Argentina and try to win again or try to get gold with France or silver with Spain or whatever. I think these are fun ideas. I don't know why they've never even thought about adding this kind of stuff in. It would be fun. I hope they add some kind of Olympic game mode or something like that. Another one is an arcade game mode. Basically, let me make whatever build I want with whatever kind of badges, with whatever kind of rating, and let me play for fun. Now, I can't buy clothing, I can't, you know, use VC or gain VC playing these games, and I can't get, like, repping up or anything, but I can have fun and play online with other people with whatever build I want and test builds out for fun. That should be allowed. I mean, I know that they're like, well, the whole point is to grind your build, but if you're not getting anything in return, it should be fine. They could have some kind of fun version, an arcade or like an NBA street version where you make whatever build you want with that, whatever animations, whatever badges, just for fun. At number seven is like a black top online. They have black top. You can play now online with friends, but you cannot do play now online black top. It doesn't make any sense. If I want to play with my friends and do Steph Curry versus Kevin Durant one-on-one with against a friend, I can't do that. Like I can do couch party, which like, like someone next to me can play with me, but someone from another place, I cannot play play now online blacktop version with them. And that's extremely lame. Another game mode that I could add on to this is a version of blacktop online. Uh, it's called random 1v1. Okay, we're getting to the point where I'm, I'm kind of reaching here and I'm making my own game modes, but I've always wanted to make like a random 2K thing. Where like I can play one on one with somebody in blacktop, right? And after every basket is made, both of your players are random. So let's say I'm I'm playing with Curry, right? And after I hit a three, all of a sudden my player changes and now I'm Muggsy Bogues. And I had to score with Muggsy Bogues versus, I don't know, let's say they get like Kemba Walker. And then boom, I hit a basket and now I'm Shaq and they're like Jody Meeks, for example. And it just changes and it's random NBA players at every basket. That would be fun. It'd be crazy. It'd be kind of cool. And I would make like series about it. But again, that's something that I don't expect them to do at all. And then finally, one that I'm not expecting at all, but who knows? A battle royale on 2K. I know you're already like, I am clicking off this video dislike. I get it. Just, I'm not saying that they're going to do this. But then again, people love their battle royales and, and you know how 2K is. And they're going to make this battle royale and they'll make it free, like a free to play version. And then you can unlock all these skins and stuff. And people are going to eat it up. And you're thinking, how in the hell would they make a battle royale? Aha, uh -huh. I see. I, I thought this out already. So you have a giant open map with a bunch of courts all over the place. 1v1 courts all over the place. And you can pick up badges. You can pick up attribute points. You can pick up speed or something. And then you all are the exact same height and the exact same weight. And all you have to do is find animations, badges, and attribute points all over the location. And you can, if you ever run into somebody, you can choose to 1v1 then. And then if you beat them, you've eliminated them. And then you just do it for 100 people until you're the final last two in the game. And you already have like maxed out badges, maxed out all this stuff. And yeah. So I know that all of you were like, uh, but you know what? Here's the thing. There's probably some of you who are like, that's low key sounds kind of fun. I'm talking to you, 10 people. So who not? I mean, I'd play it. I'd try it. I probably wouldn't like it, but I'd play it. I mean, this wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. I'm just, I'm just saying they're not going to do it, but I'd play it. Okay. That's my idea. We'll find out tomorrow when they announce all the brand new game modes, apparently. Leave it in the comments below which ones you think are going to be added. And if you like this channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time.